This video will introduce how to use the USB monitor to work with PC Windows. This guide has two parts, how to connect it to the PC and how to customize the theme. First part, how to connect the USB monitor to the PC. This tutorial is suitable for screens of USB monitor series. Here, we take the 5-inch LCD screen as an example. The received display screens come with the SD card already inserted, so there is no need to insert the card again. First, we need to connect the USB monitor to the PC, and there are two methods for you. Method 1. Connect via USB Type-C interface. Use a Type-C cable to connect to the USB port of the case. It can be placed directly on the desktop and used as a secondary screen. Method 2. Connect via USB 4-pin header. Use screws to fix the bracket on the back of the screen, then fix it on the fan. Then use the 4-pin cable to connect to the USB 9-pin port on the board. Now the screen is connected. Next is the second part, how to customize the theme. Step 1. Software settings. First, we need to install the K-Lite Codec Pack Decoder. Find the wiki link on the official product website and click it. Select the software setting. Click to download the K-Lite Codec Pack Decoder. Then unzip and run the K-Lite Codec Pack.exe application. All select Next. After the installation is complete, you need to use the PC monitor to run the theme. Scroll down on the wiki page. Click to download the WaveShare PC Monitor software. Unzip it. Run the PCMonitor.exe application. The device connected status is displayed in the upper left corner. Select the theme you like on the right side. Click Run to display. If you select two themes at the same time, the two themes will loop. You can set the loop time here. Open the software. You can see that we offer a variety of themes. This time we choose this theme as a reference for production. Click Theme Edit. In the Theme Editing interface, you can see a preview of the theme in the middle. On the right is the system data information and all the layers. On the left are the options for adding controls. First, we add a background video. Click the Video button. Find the required video in the corresponding path. Click Save. You can see that the background video has been generated. You can also see this video layer on the right. If you have a video you want to add, you can also put the video in the folder under this path. Next, we add text. Click Text. Enter CPU color in the text line. Select white for the color. Choose an appropriate font. Click Save. The CPU text appears in the preview. If you have a desired font, you can turn on the custom font switch. Then open the folder and put the font in the folder. As for the font color, you can also click the right side pick button to pick the color from the preview. Text can be adjusted in position and size by dragging and scaling. At the same time, we can copy the generated text by pressing Ctrl Z, then modify the text content to quickly generate different texts. According to the above operations, we create all the texts. Now we add dynamic text. Similarly, click the text button. Turn on the system data switch at the bottom. Select the parameter you want to display, then click Save. A real-time parameter appears. According to the above operations, we create all the dynamic texts. Finally, we add the progress bar in the middle. You can see various types of progress bars on the right. We choose the most suitable one to use. Delete unnecessary graphics using the delete key. As for the generated graphics, we can double-click to edit them. Here you can choose the border color. The background color is the color of the progress bar's background, and the foreground color is the color of the progress. If you want a gradient effect, you can turn on the foreground gradient switch, then choose the appropriate colors. Click Save to get the gradient effect. To make the progress bar correspond to real-time data, turn on the system data switch. Select the corresponding parameter. Finally, save. A real-time progress bar is generated. According to the above operations, we create all the progress bars. Finally, click Save Theme Named Color. Save. A cool theme is completed. Then find the theme you just made in the theme list and click Run. The new theme will be displayed on the screen.